Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, throughout this final weekend of the regular season, we are paying tribute to an extraordinary Boston sports hero as he completes a magnificent career that will lead him to Cooperstown. Each day, we are reflecting on a particular aspect of his contributions to our culture. Today, we focus on his impact on Boston. His 541 home runs and his leadership on three world champions are a part of the story, a big part, but so too is his big heart. And he has used that heart, that kindness, and that powerful compassion to bring our city together. From a grandmother in Southie to a child in Roxbury, our city has been united by his swing and his style, his hug and his smile. He has personified the best kind of leadership, a blend of strength and love. And he has been there for us when we have needed him the most. In this city, he is our large father figure and he is our adopted son. So now, let us welcome and thank the gentleman who has played such a pivotal role in this remarkable chapter in the social and cultural history of Boston. Ladies and gentlemen, number 34, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. On the field, David Ortiz has been a part of a glorious era for the Red Sox and for Boston. And we all know how fortunate we are that in recent years, we have been blessed with champions in every major sport. To help us celebrate this remarkable 15-year era in which our baseball, football, basketball, and hockey teams have won an amazing nine world championships, please welcome our partners in sport who have chosen to honor our baseball hero on this day. From the New England Patriots, Ty Law. Joe Andruzzi, Matt Chatham, and Andre Tippett. From the Boston Bruins, the legendary Bobby Orr, Ray Bork, Tuka Rask, Adam McQuaid, Tori Krug, Matt Bolesky, Dominic Moore, John Michael Lyles, Frank Petrano, Anton Hudobin, and David Krejci. And from the Boston Celtics, won't you please welcome head coach Brad Stevens and the entire 2016 Boston Celtics team. Ladies and gentlemen, as we look upon this array of outstanding athletes, we are reminded of their role in unifying our community and improving our society. That is why we are so pleased that several individuals who have been beneficiaries of David's kindness and the kindness of so many Boston sports heroes are joining us today to thank them in person. They represent so many people in Boston who have found inspiration and who have received encouragement directly and personally from Big Poppy. Let us welcome them now. We all met this little four-year-old hobbled by leg braces when he sang the national anthem here in 2004 before the Jimmy Fund Radio Telethon. And he stole our hearts when three years later, freed of those shackles, he made his mad dash around the bases in 2007. 
Behind the scenes, he received strong words of love from Big Poppy. Now a strapping six foot tall right handed pitcher beginning his junior year at Barnstable High School on Cape Cod. Welcome on behalf of all Jimmy Fun children, the inspiring 16 year old from South Dennis, Jordan Leandri. The families of children with cancer have touched our honoree deeply throughout the years. In August of 2011, a letter arrived from a doctor at Children's Hospital on behalf of a nine-year-old girl who was suffering from a brain tumor. Her name was Allison Lundy. Big Poppy was her favorite player. A few days later, her spirits soared when she received a visit from her adored hero. For a moment, he was medicine. A few weeks later, Allison celebrated her 10th birthday at Fenway Park, where her hero again thrilled her with a birthday cake. He also brought a gift in the form of a promise to hit a home run for her. And he did. And somehow, he was even able to retrieve that home run ball, and he made certain that it was given to her. A few months later, our hearts broke when Allison passed away. Yet the bond that David forged with her family has lived on. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of the children and all of the families all over our community whose spirits have been lifted by his love and who have even watched him deliver on a promised home run, please welcome the family of Allison Lundy. Next, we welcome a most inspiring young man. All of us were swept up two years ago in the phenomenon with Boston Roots that took the world by storm. Suddenly that summer, a sensation was energizing and educating the world about ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. And it would raise an amazing $115 million in its first eight weeks. Directly as a result of those funds, scientists have discovered a new gene that contributes to this unsolved mystery. A creator of this stunningly successful campaign was a power-hitting Boston College baseball captain who hit a home run right here into the right field bullpen in the Boston baseball beanpot. He even played against the Red Sox in BC's annual spring training game. It is no secret that he found inspiration in the exploits and the heart of our honoree and how happy we are that he can be here today to offer his thanks in person. Welcome back, a father of the Ice Bucket Challenge, Boston's own Pete Frades. When it comes to David's legacy in Boston, for all of his quiet and private good deeds, we all know vividly what our eyes saw and what our ears heard when our honoree made one of the most impassioned, impromptu speeches in the history of our city, our beloved city. And here, to represent the hundreds who found comfort and compassion in the leadership and love of our civic hero after the Boston Marathon bombings in 2013, won't you please welcome a couple that defines resilience, Jessica Kensky and Patrick Downs. And a hero in his own right, with a breathtaking and life-saving story of his own, the remarkable Jeff Bowman.
We thank these members of our Boston community for joining us and for representing the hundreds more who have been beneficiaries of the care and kindness that have enhanced the lives of all who live in our city and all who love our city. Let us always remember that we are One Boston. And now, let us ask these community heroes to present the ceremonial first pitch. All right, let's see some strikes. We thank our friends from the Patriots, the Bruins, and the Celtics for being our partners in sport, our partners in society, and our partners in demonstrating the importance of team harmony. And we thank our community heroes for helping us understand how wonderful it is and how important it is that we come together as one. We now invite you all to say the last two words of our ceremony.